Hey everybody, happy Monday. Um, just wanna go over really quickly what's going on. So um, I'm thinking that last week's thought question or whenever, I think it was two weeks ago actually, that's gonna be the last one for the year. Um, and that's also gonna be the last uh, Achieve articles, I think. Okay, maybe we'll do one more, but probably not. Okay, we're just gonna work full speed ahead on the research project, okay? So um, if you submitted a paragraph with uh, what civilization you wanted, I just sent a quick response back, a quick private comment saying like, cool, like you can do what you asked for. So I, I 90% sure that everyone got what they wanted um, because every, everybody was pretty different, okay? So um, notes are going to be due um, not this Friday the 15th, but next Friday the 22nd, okay? So I just want to go through what notes I'm expecting. And this is going to be really similar to when we did our um, persuasive essays, okay? So you guys are going to do research, then you're going to compile that research, and you're going to put it all together, okay? So this is nothing new, um, and I'm going to try to run it as similar to um, the other stuff that we've done, the other research stuff, the other writing pieces that we've done, uh, so it's not any different, okay? So... Um, Everybody, I, I'm giving you a bunch of things here. Uh, the rubric you could look over, but it's not really important to look at until uh, you start writing, okay? So you have your outline, and I'm gonna open this up, okay? So outline is going to be your note page, okay? So just like when we did our persuasive essays and you guys copied and pasted from one source and put it into another, same thing, okay? So just write your name, you don't really need class because it's my class. Due date's going to be the 22nd and the civilization that you're studying. Like I said, everybody got the one that they wanted, okay? So what you have in your notes is um, different sections. And these sections turn out to be different paragraphs once you come to write, okay? Um, so when you're doing your research, you want obviously the name of your civilization, geography. Okay, what hemispheres is it? What continent? Bordering civilization, major landforms. Uh, if you're studying China, um, you know, the Huang He River, the Gobi Desert, things like that. Okay, and the time period your civilization existed. What I was saying is, you know, there's three stars here. Okay, just because you filled those three stars in doesn't mean that's enough information to. Uh, move on to the next thing, okay? If you, and to put it really simply, if you just answer like hemispheres, continent, bordering civilizations, major landforms, your paragraph's gonna end up being like three sentences, okay? That's not really gonna be enough, okay? So fill this up, all right? Just like always, wherever you find information from, except for Wikipedia, please don't use that because you're gonna need to use noodle tools and you won't be able to. Um, copy and paste your the place where you found the information into your note page, okay? You guys know how well that works, because um, once you do start to do noodle tools, that's gonna be kind of difficult if you don't have it, all right? Uh, second thing, stable food supply. What kind of food do they eat? How do they produce it? What was the climate like? Climate is weather, okay? How did the climate affect food supply? Did they have to trade for all their food? You know, like Greece couldn't grow anything because their ro their their um, landforms were rocky, and you know they didn't have much farmland, so they had to do a lot of training or trading. That's that question, okay? Uh, government. What type of government? What laws did they have? How were they ruled? Did they have a king? Was it a monarchy? Was it a tyranny? Was it a democracy? Okay, were, were there dynasties? Okay, um, so system of governments right there. Social levels. Different social classes of people. Who was in each class? What were the different jobs in the civilization? Okay. So this is all stuff that you should be really familiar with um, from social studies. Okay. If you're studying ancient Rome, you know, the plebeian class versus the patrician class. And it used to be, it was a um, republic at one point, but then it became a tyranny. You know, this is stuff that we've learned already. Culture. Examples of art, music, religion, architecture, games, etc. Any cultural thing that's unique to that society um maybe music is uh music is generally hard to find okay especially in a research project where you're writing music is hard to explain 
Okay. And it's not like you could play music as part of your research project. So um, if you find something for music, great. If not, that's fine too. Okay. So those are the five sections. So culture, social classes, government, food supply, and um, basically geography. All right. Um, I can't stress this enough. Wherever you find information, copy and paste the URL somewhere. Okay. So that is going to be due on Friday the 22nd, just like always. Um, remember when we were doing our uh, uh, persuasive essays, you guys would get done earlier, sign up for a meeting, and then we'd have a meeting. Same thing is going to happen. Once you are done with your notes, turn it in, and I will contact you, and you and I will do a Google Meet one-on-one, -on -one, just like coming up and sitting near my desk and talking. Okay. Once I've met with everyone, then you can go on to the rough draft. Okay. So when you're done, turn it in. I'll find a, I'll find a time for us to meet that works for both of us. And we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, some tips for your notes, paraphrase as you take notes. Okay. Don't just copy and paste. Okay. Um, if you paraphrase while taking notes now, you're not going to have to go back and do it later. Just front load everything. Okay. Um, copy and paste. I just said this, where you found your information in the note sheet, you'll need this for noodle tools. Um, use as much room as you need. So this is like the note page that I gave you is two pages. Okay. But there's no reason it can't be 10. Okay. The more information, the better. Um, I, I see a lot of kids, they do their research, they do their notes. And then when it comes time to write, they don't have enough and they have to go back to the beginning. So it's kind of a pain. Notes are due on 522, okay? But I will accept notes any time in between those uh, now and then. Once you get done, hand it in, and then I will find a time for you to meet. If I haven't met with you for you know before the 22nd, I will meet with you on the 22nd, okay? Uh, you need an online encyclopedia. And let's do that right now. In your launch pad. What happened? Forget it. Let me go back there. In your launch pad, if you go to library resources and you have World Book Online Encyclopedia, that's going to count as your online encyclopedia. You need one of these. Okay. It should just sign you right in. You've used this before. So when we were doing that infographic for Greek philosophers, you guys use this. All right. It should be pretty uh, familiar. You're going to click student. And you could search whatever, ancient Rome. You'll be able to find a ton of things, okay? So you need at least one online encyclopedia. So like I said, Launchpad, Library Resources, World Book. These other things might work. I'm, I'm not sure, but World Book is definitely a really good one you guys have used before, so that's why I'm showing it to you. Um, don't use Wikipedia because you can't cite it. Okay. And furthermore, it's really easy for me to tell that you use, um, Wikipedia. I'm going to do this originality reports thing where it's checks for plagiarism. Um, Mr. Don and Duxter's websites, which will link below are a good place to start your research. Um, Mr. Don's right here. Um, and Duxter's is right below and will no doubt cover everything. Okay. I'm not saying you, you know, you could Google information and find sources on your own. I'm just giving you three good places to start. Mr. Don Duxter's and that World Book Encyclopedia, frankly, will get you all the information you would ever need. Okay. Um, another place to get information is, of course, my um, Google Classroom for Social Studies. So whatever class you're in, go back to the civilization. If you're doing... Uh, Egypt, you really can't do this. Well, Mesopotamia kind of works, okay? Um, and scroll, scroll back down through. All the way back down. Do, do, do. There we go.
So like fall of, you know, all of these are really, again, really good places to find information. And I cover all the things you're going to be taking notes on. I cover or I covered in social studies class. Okay. So social classes, culture, art, music, architecture, we already did that. So if you want to go back into slideshows and take a look at, at what I already taught you, or if you have your social studies binder, I will show you guys how to cite that information later. Okay, it's pretty simple. All right. Daily life of the Romans, that would be great for social classes. Okay. So just to review, research project, take the notes here, make sure that you're covering the notes. If you find something from like my social studies class, you know, write in parentheses like, you know, fall of Rome slideshow or something. Okay. It's really important that if you pull information, you know where you got it because you're going to have to go back when you do noodle tools to get all the information and the publisher and the author and everything. So make sure you have that. Okay. Just because there's three dots does not mean that's all you need. You probably need more. All right. Um, so just go through and some kids in the past, like they'll go and do the research and say, all right, I already did hemispheres. So I'm going to, you know, like highlight that or something or underline it. So I know that I already covered it. Um, so make sure you're covering all those things. Um, and again, when you're done with your, uh, outline, hand it in. Once you hand it in, I will privately comment and tell you when you and I are going to do a one-on-one -on -one Google Meet to go over your stuff. It's going to be just the same thing as like signing up on that yellow piece of paper that I had up in the front, okay? Um, so let me, I'm going to post that in a second once I connect this video to it. Very last thing, guys, uh, sixth grade yearbook questions. Mr. Roth kind of printed these up, and so these are going to go in the sixth grade yearbook. So take five minutes and do this. It's just some fun little questions for you, for you guys. It's, uh, you know, favorite book, movie, hobbies, favorite memories. One thing I remember about the COVID-19 pandemic, what a, what a bleak thing. Oh, crew cars on here. So, um, just, uh, Oh, I didn't do that. Right. Let me get rid of that. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks. I'll see you later.